Greetings and blessings, dear friends in the Spirit 111. On this day of your life, I believe God wants you to know that everything is falling together perfectly, even though it looks as if some things are falling apart. Trust in the process you are now experiencing. Life is on your side. It is showing that to you now, though you may not be able to see it clearly at this time. You have made your wishes and dreams known to God. Now comes the time for faith. Faith that all is right, right now. Tomorrow will reveal itself exactly as it should. Love your friend, Neil Donald Walsh. Hello, it's Eddie Luisi. How are you? So I'm calling this talk, Falling Together Perfectly. Makes sense, right? So I want to just take a, a, a quick moment. Our dear friend, Terry Kinnear, at 3.19 a.m., um, had her continuation day. So um, she passed on this life and continuing on to her next life. So... Terry, we love you. You're now an angel. You're a friend in the spirit. Um, looking out for us, praying for us. So God bless you, your soul. God bless your family. Okay. So a couple weeks ago, Liz and I, my wife, we did the video together. And cue the spirit. We're talking about a book. So we have some plans that we're thinking about doing. I want to get your input. Tell me what you're thinking. So, I'm thinking that I continue these Friends in the Spirit 111 weekly weekend messages by myself. But Liz and I want to do videos together also. So, I'm thinking about doing a second video later today. And we'll call that Q to Spirit 1, Q to Spirit 2, Q to Spirit 3. Um, and then, I don't know, are you guys into podcasts? Because I did a little test that I put on my Facebook page. But I could, in in the future, have another recorder here and do a podcast while I'm doing this video. So those of you who enjoy the videos can watch those. Those of you who like podcasts, listening in your car or headsets when you're working out or whatever, um, let me know. So that's a possibility. We could do that either way. So falling together perfectly is the topic of this talk. Just to let you know, last Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, there was a little fire, a little um, stuff happening here at the Luisi household. So um, things were not <laughs> falling together perfectly. But it says trust, trust in God, right? Trust that the process, your experience is going right. So <clears throat> one way that I know things are okay when I go out in the morning and I drive to work, there's always one light in the sky. And I don't know if it's a star or a planet, but it's always there. It's always reliable. It's guiding. There's love, I feel. There's a connection. So same thing with God, same thing with spirit, same thing with universe, same thing with Jesus. The, all those that I mentioned, is they're always there. They're always there. Even in the midst of a cloudy sky, um, just know that you're always loved and things are falling together perfectly. Um, might not be the way you want it right now, but eventually things are going to get better and better and better. So I have a bunch of little readings I'm going to do today. And we'll see how long this takes. But like I said, later on, Liz and I are going to do a video too. And she has some of her own thoughts that we're going to discuss. And then she might, I'm going to give her my notes here. So there might be something in this video that she has questions for. Because she's on her own path, her own journey um, in faith. So maybe that's a good thing that we could discuss that together. What I am going to read now is from Science of Mind called The Soft Spot. This is a quote from Christine D. Larson. Your prayers shall be answered, your need shall be supplied, and all that your life may require shall now become your own. And from Science of Mind, page 525, if you have the big book. 
I rest in security and peace, for the inner light shines forth and illumines the way. Here's the story. My mother is in an assisted living facility, and I make a point to take her out. Once, as I was helping her out of my car, she began to fall. I caught her, held her up, and leaned back against the vehicle behind me. My mom was unable to stand, and I needed help. I reached into my pocket for my phone, but I had left it inside the car. I held my mother up as the sun beat down on us. We waited. Shortly, a visitor walked out of an adjacent building. I yelled to him for help. But just then, a caregiver came out. Spotting us, she came to the car immediately, and in a flash, she had the wheelchair out of her car and ready. She assisted me in transferring my mom to the chair and getting her back inside. I don't know why I came out, the caregiver said. I looked right at her and responded, oh yes, you do. As I pointed to the sky in the universal gesture indicating God, she understood. This is the soft spot, knowing with absolute faith that I will be okay no matter what is going on. I know that everything I need, the universe will supply. I might not know how, when, or in what form it will come, but I do know that it will come, always. It is with this deep, calm conviction that I live my life. How cool is that, right? That I just mentioned there's always that one light I see in the sky all the time. And and I had a bad beginning of the week last week, but the calm always comes. God is always there. The affirmation. I know that I always have a soft spot to land in spirit, which provides everything I need when I need it. So now I like to read from Three Minutes a Day, The Christophers. This is called A Glorious Resurrection, A Lovely Garden. It is a law of nature that a garden needs attention to produce its bounty. The earth needs to be turned and tilled. Seeds need to be planted. Weeds carefully but persistently removed. There needs to be balance between water and fertilizer. And then there needs to be quiet patience and trust. Remember two weeks ago, Liz was saying about you know, I challenge you to be quiet, right? To have patience, to just listen. The season of Lent, which comes before the glorious resurrection of the Lord, is also a time of cultivation and weeding. For too long a time, perhaps, Lent has been a time of denial, something unpleasant, a time of deprivation. Is that the word? Deprivation? Deprivation. <laughs> Think of the season as if it were a garden, a time for tending ourselves, taking care to remove those things which make us less than we could be, encouraging the beauty in our natures to flower. Then perhaps on Easter Sunday or Resurrection Sunday, we may share our bounty with others. And from John eleven twenty five. Jesus said to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. The little prayer, help me to see growth as I tend your life in me, risen Lord. Another thing from Science of Mind, this goes back in February. Christian D. Larson. I think that person was in the other one. Interesting how I, I like them. But when we do accept this strength, the power of the Spirit will manifest in the flesh. We shall then be strong through and through with power from on high. And from the essential Ernest Holmes, page 36, we accept our declaration, the word we have spoken as being manifest now. No delay is involved between this cause and its appearance as effect. 
We've talked a little bit about this before. However, it is important to address it again. Are you willing to accept the things you have called forth? Obviously, the immediate answer will be yes. If you find yourself frustrated because you have not received your good, maybe it's time to take a closer look at the level of acceptance. As Holmes states above, we accept our declaration as being manifest now. If we are not receiving our good, it is imperative that we check in to see if we are truly in an accepting vibration. Are we welcoming our good? Are we pushing it away? Be clear on this. Your good is always around you. Accept that it's yours now. Trust that it flows to you in ways that you may not even have thought of. Acceptance is being in a state of receptivity, which generates gratitude. I think Liz and our talk later on is going to be about gratitude. Be grateful even now for the good you are receiving. Be grateful means you've already received it. Be open, receptive, and available to receive what you have declared. Go out and receive the good that is now waiting for you. And the affirmation, I accept my good now. I am grateful for all the good that comes to me. I accept that I am the life of God. And so it is. A little something from Rhonda Brine of The Secret Daily Teachings. It's called Inspired Action Feels Wonderful. Excuse me. Be aware of the big difference between inspired action and activity. Activity comes from, comes from the brain mind and is rooted in disbelief and lack of faith. You are taking action to make your desire happen. Inspired action is allowing the law to work through you and to move through you. The law of attraction, right? Attract good things and attract positive things. From daily practice, sacred reading and meditation, one spirit learning center. Our real journey in life is interior. It is a matter of growth, deepening, and of an ever greater surrender to the creative action of love and grace in our hearts. That was taken from Thomas Merton. The Asian Journal of Thomas Merton. A couple more little things. Faith. This is, again, from um, Daily Word, Unity. I know that through God, all things are possible. Whenever I'm facing a challenge or personal crisis, I need only turn within to my inner source to pray. My faith in a higher power gives me the courage to overcome any obstacle in my human experience. Through faith, I know that I am a spiritual being, a child of God. Miracles can happen, not only to me, but through me. I understand that faith is so much more than merely believing in something up there, out there, or a God outside of myself. Faith is deep inner knowing that the Christ in me is my hope of glory. Through faith, I know that I can make a difference in this world. I live confidently knowing that through God, all things are possible. And from James 1, 6, But ask in faith, never doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. Neil Donald Walsh, on this day of your life, I believe God wants you to know the world is so much brighter, so much better because of you. If only you knew all the gifts that you bring to others, you would never feel sad again, but only rejoice in how wonderful God has made you. I would not say these things just to make you feel good. The things I've said here happen to be true. I didn't write that, dear friends in spirit, but I believe that. I know a lot of you personally, a lot of you comment to me, text me, call me, 
and I know the things that are happening in your life and you are special. And the people I don't know personally, because there's, there's several thousand that, that these talks reach, you're all special, you're all doing special things no matter what you're going through. Try to find that one light in the sky. Um, try to find focus on the light of Christ, the light of God, light of divine inside you. And don't forget to share your faith with family and friends. Um, later today, uh, Liz and I, my wife, Elizabeth, Lizzie, Louise, are going to do the side-by-side -side video. And we're going to talk more and we're going to share more. And we're trying to figure out Cue the Spirit book. And and Liz has been on a journey. And, and our paths, spiritually, religiously, were not the same. We were like, two different areas, but um, she's enjoying my spirituality and my messages, and she's going to share some stuff. She's going to do more talking. I'm going to sit in the background, and I'm going to, you know, put in my two cents when it's needed. So let us know what you think. We're going to continue to do these two videos, but if you feel we just need to do one video, and we need to do it together, you need... I should just do it by myself and maybe Liz and I just once a month. Let us know what you feel. Let us know how we're touching you, how we're making a difference in your life, if we are. Um, and let us know if a podcast would be better or both. All right. So love you guys. Take care. Have a blessed day, a blessed weekend, a blessed week. And I will talk to you next Saturday. Don't forget to share your faith with family and friends and cue the spirit.